Wow, that was a disaster. <laughs> Take two. This is Natalie with Risen Legacy. And um, today I'm not really doing anything. I am just in the mood to chit chat. Um, I did a set last night and I didn't really realize it was going to be so pretty. Or I would have recorded it. But I'm just going to get on here and talk to you guys while I am filing them. Um, what I did, they're really, really pretty. I can't wait to take a picture with a top coat. But um, let me let some of you jump on again. It was my fault the last video. Scratch that. Um, there's my girl Sarah. There's Y'all say hey, 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 so I know who's on. Here we, here, everybody's popping in now. Yay. Um, I'm just going to simply just file, file my nails today. We're going out of town, so I did a set last night. Um, I was tired of Starry Nights. So, um, I really wanted to try out Blue Lagoon, so that's actually what I did. Hey, Hazel. Hey, Susan. And Brittany. There you go. There's my girls. Sorry, it just turned off. I was... I had smart sh smart view smart share on so I could see it on my big screen over here and then my phone kept going black so um, I can't handle that I have to see comments right in front of my face um, good Amber's back okay you guys so yesterday last night really late actually that's probably why I really didn't film it um, I did a set I've already kind of started filing so they they don't look very good but I did blue lagoon roasted chestnut and risen rosé really pretty I just kind of did a mixture. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to file those and talk to you girls and answer any questions you have. So um, I have recently put on um, YouTube the latest videos that I've done. So you guys make sure that you're subscribed to YouTube so you can see those videos. Um, I also am trying out Instagram. Does anybody know about Instagram? I need your your secrets. Um, I'm a little older, so the Instagram thing is very, <laughs> very new to me. I think it's something for younger people. Um, but I'm trying to figure it out. I've got a ton of followers on there, so if you guys will just jump over there. Y'all can kind of see, let me turn this down just a little bit so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just, just filing so y'all can kind of see how I work my hands and stuff like that. Um, I do, I do always balance, like support my fingers with my pinky so that I have more of a steady, a steady hand versus just a free hand. Um, and then the different ways that I turn it to do them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotcha. gotcha. Sarah's, Sarah's got Sarah's got me over there. Um, this is how I'm holding this one. I always um, try to pull down my finger part, the tip of the finger, away from the nail so that I can get a very close um, file right there. Even when I'm even when I'm like buffing, I kind of do that too. Um, again, I'm using this is my favorite the tapered the tapered nail file. All y'all hush. When I do this, this is really weird, but I grab this skin on this, this side and twist my finger towards me. That way I can go straight up and take off that harsh line right there because I want um, a, a very pretty C curve. And then you just kind of take it and file it to your liking. I know some of us like to get after that. The better you get, the less you will have to file. I'm assuming Sarah's going to tell me if questions pop up. Okay, on the drill, you guys. Um, I don't ever, I don't ever even look at the numbers. Honestly, I just there's a sound, a hum that comes from the drill. Um, so I kind of have that. I've done it for so long that I kind of know the speed of, of the hum. Does that make sense? So, uh, when filing a set that you just did, you need it to be higher than normal. If you're just filing, like, your nails, buffing your nails up with the sanding band to do a set, um, you don't need it as high. Or 
if you're using the very thin um, bit like this, there is this one and this one again, the thinner ones. This one is to get like up underneath your nail if you uh, put a little bit too much nail glue under there and it seeps out underneath or if your natural nail is growing out but lifting fr apart from the acrylic this one is very good it's it's coarse it looks like it's got divots in it um it is a coarse bit but that gives you that c that c curve up under the nail so if it gets thick you just do up under the nail like that and then this one is amazing for around the cuticles it's got a rounded top a rounded end so it will not cut you and you're able to file and get them nasty cuticles off hey Amanda let's we'll see Jasmine what's up Jasmine I feel like my drill catches and then it leaves them uneven uh, um, reverse it there should on every drill drill Jasmine be a little button that changes the direction um, mine I always have come towards me but if I change it to go away from me that's exactly how it feels it just feels like it, it catches um, like it drags and I feel like I'm don't have control of it so try switching the direction um, even when I switch to my left hand and do this uh, I, I still keep it the same way although it does throw stuff at me um, if I reverse this let me show you if I reverse this I'm very like unsteady like and like it'll grab right here and then just file just file all of that off like I'm just not used to it so I leave everything the same direction does that make sense um, a better drill Amanda I uh, girl I'll post a link under this but I know I've showed you. Yeah, there's cordless drills. This one, this one's a cordless. Um, it's nice. You have to charge it. I have gone through so many drills in my lifetime. So um, I really like this one. This is one of the better ones that's out. That's not. I mean, it's like forty bucks. It's not bad on Amazon. Does the coarseness of the bit make a difference? Yes, Susan. Should I use fine, medium, or coarse? Um, yes they're all different normally you guys when you get uh when you get a kit i mean when you get a drill it'll come i used to have one it'll come with a little set uh they look like this this is one of them i actually don't even have the other ones i have a lot but i don't even have the other ones up because i don't i don't use them um they're very fine this is a very fine grit um I do medium or coarse. I would probably go with medium. Um, there's actually a set. I got them all three right here, you guys. Let me put my um, camera on and I'll show you. There's a set on Amazon that comes with three of these. These are called safety bits because they're rounded on the, on the ends and you cannot cut your cuticles with it. Um, you can't, like this is my favorite, but you can get extremely close right here with um, this this bit and these like to file around the cuticle area this you can't get as close but on Amazon there is a little kit um, let me look at them real quick okay put them in order for you here is they will come like this and there this one is a fine grit this one is a medium grit and this is a coarse grit I use them all they're all kind of it's kind of a preference um, the fine you guys the fine one would be for like once you file and buff the fine I would put the fine one on and just kind of go over it make sure it's like a, an even surface um, the very coarse one is the one that I would use I would put on to file down all the colored acrylic and get down to that pure diamond um, clear layer to start a new set the coarse one will um, work faster than the other two to get all of that excess off. Um, the one with the sanding band, it's just like using a buffer. Um, it's just much quicker. So um, you can use it to file 
down the nail as well. The medium one is just a good one to do everything with. Um, I'm guessing this one that I like is, is a, a medium grit. Uh, let, me sh let me put this on so you guys can see it. Here's this one. Ooh. This is messing with me with it moving. Okay, so here's my grit. Um, and then the white versus the silver. The white is ceramic. The, uh, the silver is just metal. The ceramic ones don't get as hot as, as quickly as the metal ones. They both work great. Um, but the ceramic ones, you know, if you stay in one spot too long, um, you'll get that burning sensation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Be like, ah! Um, the ceramic ones are better at that. So, does the coarseness, let's see, coarse, yes, Jessica, definitely coarse if you're removing and fine if you're filing and buffing. Perfect. I love my girl Jess. Um, anyway, so that's, that matters. Um, I have a really bad habit of using the one that I showed you for around the cuticles. Um, I'm very big on cutting my cuticles. It's just, I have OCD and I can't sit still. So in the evenings when, see, I'm, I grabbed this end and I'm twisting it to me so I can get a straight line down that side of the nail. Um, so while I'm sitting there watching TV, I, I, I have to be doing something. So I'm always just falling around the cuticle edge. Um, cleaning all that up, it actually will extend the look of your set. I was going to say manicure set, but I always go up underneath. Even with this one, I, I you don't hit your the tip of your finger. You just go up underneath, and it'll make that perfect C curve. The other one really gets down in there if you get something like up in the corner. That one will get there. Hey, Naomi. How's the, how was the weather there today, love? Naomi's in France. She has bought quite a bit. Um, oh, this is important. You guys, oh my pinky. Um, so I have good control over it. I always take my ring finger and wrap it around and then I hold it with my thumb. Now, how crazy does that look? <laughs> Sarah's looking at me like you're, you're, crazy. you're crazy. Yes. I'm crazy. She is not talking. You need to talk. Me? Um, I hold, I wrap my finger around the pinky and then hold it with my thumb. And that's how I keep the pinkies stabilized. Does that make sense? This is just some tips that I do. Uh, maybe it will help you out. Wants to know, how do you keep your clear from looking cloudy? Clear from looking cloudy. Um, Raisha, you're dipping, right? Not using monomer. Make sure that your base coat um, is not a foggy color from dipping in and out using different colors you may want to um, put your brush the base coat brush in the brush extender that that is sold separately but it's also in the pro kit make sure your brush is clean um, the clear is not like a like super transparent look I don't think you're gonna find any that are super transparent but um, you'll kind of have that natural nail look on on the clear a lot of the times, you guys, if I am filing my nails off or starting a set, um, sorry, I'm trying to get my legs crossed. I'm so short that I have to stabilize myself <laughs> under the table. Um, if I'm putting on a new set or filing a set down and have something else to do, I always just throw at least a base clear coat on uh, of the Pure Diamond. Um, so that I don't crack them or break any tips or anything like that. So I'll simply just do a base coat, a clear coat of the Pure Diamond, 
and then activate it, go on about my business, and then sit down when I have time to finish the rest. Um, I'll just, you want, definitely want to make sure you clean them with the nail cleanser and um, start with the primer and bond data up around the cuticle area. Get your base and then start your color and then finish your set from there. A lot of the times I do that, y'all, because um, I'm really either I'm really wanting to like change my set, do something different, or actually prepare and get ready for another live to sh to show you guys something. Um, I'll do that. I'll like prep at the at nighttime so that the next day I'll be able to um, go straight with y'all. I think that's why. Most of the time when I do a set for y'all, I'm already, like, I say, I already, I already have, I've already done the clear coat. Um, just so I don't waste y'all's time, you alls time on here, but also so we can just pick up and get started on colors. Because colors are prettier than just the clear. So, I get everything ready and I normally have that done before I get on with you guys. Um, y'all, I made a post about it, but don't forget, um, with every purchase in, made in October, I am going to give you guys a free Hey Boo Accent glitter. It's, um, it's a limited glitter, accent glitter. Um, it's orange, it's iridescent, it is perfect for Halloween, so... Catch the video on YouTube, ladies. Make sure you subscribe if you have not to Risen Legacy's YouTube channel. Um, there I post a lot of videos and I actually did demonstrations of the Hey Boo on different colors. It is so, um, like, iridescent and stuff. It On black, it looks completely green. It's so weird. It looks completely green on black. You put it on on Beach Babe, an orange, and it makes that Beach Babe pop. It's gorgeous. Um, you put it on white, you see just, um, you see white, and then you see the pretty Hey Boo glitter. So, it's very versatile and pretty for the month of October for Halloween. So, I want to bless you ladies with that and just give it to you. How fun is that? Um, I did see a question. Donovan said, Heather Donovan says, I missed the beginning. What are you using that one for to take down the thickness or polish, polishing? Um, this one, this bit is a tapered bit. It's actually the one, it's my go-to bit. Um, I use it pretty much for everything. Um, I did a set last night really late on myself because um, we're going out of town and I wanted something different so I did a set really quick I should have really videoed it but um, I actually did it using monomer um, and I haven't really gotten into that just yet with you ladies so um, I have not on this hand I have not filed or buffed like I did a set but I haven't filed or buffed or anything I did it and then I went straight to bed so right now I just feel like chit chatting with you guys so I'm just simply um, filing and buffing. This one, this is like a medium grit. I am just making sure I've got a smooth surface. Um, you can do it with a, um, a fine, a fine bit or medium. Um, the more you do it, ladies, you'll get a preference of what you like. Even though they're for something, you may find them something different. I always go up underneath and make sure I've got that perfect C curve. Also, I hate when I'm able to see my fingernail growing underneath. So that's when I really, really like this one. These two, if I can get them. My nails are long on a table. Um, if my nails are growing out underneath, you guys, I love these. These two, this one won't cut you. The white one, ceramic one, will not cut you underneath because it's rounded. And then this one's really good for getting like up underneath the fingernail. Um, I don't like to see my nail underneath y'all, honestly, because um, it usually looks really dirty, and I just don't like that look. Also, I file the nail off underneath because if it starts lifting at all, you're going to get, every time, I know us ladies, we got to do the dishes all the time. It's a never-ending story. 
So all the dishes you're doing, all the baths you're giving to the little ones and stuff like that, if that uh, natural nail underneath is lifting, if you're not worried about how long it is and you put on tips like me, um, I file them off because I don't want the moisture getting in between the acrylic and the natural nail. It will cause, it sounds really, really gross, but it's called a greenie. And it's where um, mold will kind of accumulate up underneath the nail. Um, so I try to avoid that. If that happens, if you take off your set and that happens, it's not, it's not fungus. It's not detrimental. It's just kind of gross. But um, all you have to do is, I um, want y'all to see, I see I'm still using my pinky to um, stabilize my fingers while I file. Um, if you get a greenie, guys, don't freak out. Um, I normally just d put half and half, half bleach, half water in a bowl. And um, I buff, buff off the green part. Normally, that will buff off. And then soak it in the water just to kill any of that yucky stuff left behind. Um, it just makes me feel better in my head <laughs> to soak it in bleach. But um, it'll come off. It should buff off if it's if it is a greenie. Um, if if you buff and buff and buff and it doesn't come off, then that is um, worse than what it should be. Um, but normally that's not the case. So. Don't freak out if you take something off and you see a green. That just means there was moisture that got in somewhere. Sometimes they'll lift in the back and we're, we don't know it. And moisture will get under there. So as it grows out, um, it'll, it'll get to the middle of the nail. So if something lifts, just take the base coat and stick it back down until you're ready to change a set. I always, not that it happens a lot, but of course when I'm not prepared is when it is going to happen. So I either always throw um, some nail glue or my, I'll, I'll grab a bottle of the Step 2 and have it in my purse or in my car. That way if for some reason one of them lives and we're out doing something or away like this weekend, I'll take, I'll take one with me just in case it starts lifting. I mean, it's not going to because this is a brand new set. But um, I like to be prepared, and the minute that I'm not prepared is when it's going to happen. So, it's like going to a car dealership. Your car's making noises and doing this and that, and you go to show them, and then, of course, it's not going to do it. So, it's just nice to always have some nail glue. Um, carrying the base coat around is, is just as good if you don't want to spend money on some nail glue. As far as nail glue, you guys, you just, you find some you like and you stick with it. Others, some are better than others. Um, I personally have not had any luck with the ones at Sally's. Um, I don't even know what that's called. Do you know the brand at Sally's? Oh, there's a couple different ones, but, oh, secret, something secret, something secret. I don't know. I haven't had, um, good with that. I always try to get clear versus the pink um, just because where you want it you may not always want a pink hue um, I just kind of pick and choose off of Amazon really there is there is a good brand that I get oh but it has to be bought you know at a at like RDA or Armstrong where you have to have a license to get that so um, also, you can use the kind that you brush on or the kind that you squirt on. I normally put it on the inside of the nail and then flip the nail over and put it on my finger versus putting it on my natural nail and then pressing the tip down. I like to know that I have full coverage um, of of glue on the nail versus just putting it on my nail and it running towards the out the perimeter of the nail and then placing the nail down and then you have the um, the bubbly look underneath um, check out you guys check out the video that I did uh, the other day um, where I explained 
how to fix that bubbling if you do um, if you're putting on tips and you have very uneven nails or even if you're like dipping your nails um, I did a little a, a little video and explained how to fill that in before you start your set so that everything will be um, very smooth for you um, IBD glue okay IBD glue is good yes can't wait to, to get our last order everything is going out so you should be getting it soon um, it would be nice to know and make sure that all of you guys are getting a confirmation number when when we ship. If y'all will just um, let me know that that is being done. I know for a while, being a newer company, everything was going to everybody's spam. So, um, I do not want that to be happening anymore. So, definitely let me know. Um, okay, guys. So, this is filed and... Filed and buffed. I would, after this, I would still take my file and go down on the sides, making sure I've got that perfect C curve um, and there's no bumps. I always take the buffer and go up underneath, make sure those are fine lines, and take that sharp corner off because I will kill my kids with it. So I just file underneath. You see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of going on the sides up underneath, making sure that's all straight and even. I would still file and buff. Um, just evening it out because sometimes you're not steady with that drill make sure you get on top making it flat and then I always on the tips go down so you get a nice rounded end um, then I will clean them off with a nail cleanser or put a top coat but let me let me put this up here for you sorry my lens got all the filing on it Okay, good. Okay, Amber, thanks. I'm glad y'all are letting me know you're getting confirmation numbers because I, I send those out, a tracking number with everything. Okay, I'm going to put this lens on so you guys can see my nails up close. They look like this. I'm going to clean them with the nail cleanser and some cuticle oil after I put the top coat on. And I will post a picture up under this live so y'all can see how pretty they are. Again, on mine is Roasted Chestnut, Risen Rosé, and Blue Lagoon. I love Blue Lagoon. I'm normally not like a like a, a blue person, but Blue Lagoon's, it's a beautiful color to me. So thank you ladies for watching and talking with me. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Have a blessed weekend. Um, it is beautiful weather out. So take advantage of that weather before it gets cold, which it is, it seems cold to me though, but Moving from the island, 60 degrees here is freezing to me. <laughs> Sarah's like, it's not cold. It's not cold. It's cold to me. But I'm always cold. So, anyways, ladies, have a wonderful weekend. Have a blessed weekend. Stay safe. Wear your mask. And <laughs> um, we'll see you a little bit later. Bye-bye, y'all.